Hi, thanks for coming back to this channel. In this video, I'm gonna be making a Wings and Things party platter, so stay tuned. We appreciate you watching this video. If you want to show support to this channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. And to stay up to date on new content, when we release it, ring the notification bell. You can also visit us on our website or look for us on social networks. Now let's get into the video. Now for the garlic nuts, I'm just using this uh, croissant sheet already pre-made you can see get get it in your grocery store uh, i'm going to take some of this garlic butter which i've melted down melt it down and i'm just going to brush it on it now it's already buttery because it is a croissant but we want that garlic flavor Now we're gonna take our Asiago blend that we use uh, in a lot of our videos. It's again, one of my favorite uh, grated cheeses. And I'm gonna use the brush to just make sure it's all, uh, all wet and pushed in so it doesn't fall out. Okay, I'm gonna actually fold it in this direction here and just press it down. That's gonna be the, the middle of it. And we're gonna cut it into about one and a half inch or two inch strips. So now I'm gonna take these strips, you can see the two layers, and we're just gonna make a knot. Yeah, just tie a regular knot. Doesn't have to be pretty. And I'm just tucking in the bottoms. Okay. Again, it doesn't have to look pretty. Just uh, just has to cook and be delicious. Okay, and I've got about six of them here. So if you're cooking for more than six, that's uh, you're going to need a, a couple of sheets. And this last one here. I want to space them out because they may they may grow have, as a little spray on the top. And some more of this garlic butter blend. So this is what they look like here. They're Nice and done. I'm just gonna let them sit here uh, for a few minutes to cool. Uh, for the ne next part of the wings and things platter, I'm gonna be making some Italian seasoned meatballs. I'm using about a half a pound of a meatloaf mix. It's got uh, veal, beef, and pork. I'm also gonna saute up some a uh, little bit of garlic and some of these green onions, just the white parts of the green onions. Uh, they give it a more onion flavor. So we're just gonna cut that in half. Okay, and again. Kind of here. And do a, just a rough chop. I mean, these will be real small in there. Give it a smash. Okay, give it a nice fine chop. Okay, take that. Put that in there. And throw a little olive oil in here. 
little bit of salt, some pepper, a little bit of onion powder. Okay, we're gonna get this to the stove. I'm gonna saute these. We're gonna come back and assemble the meatballs. And then we just wanna soften these up and, until they're translucent. I don't wanna overdo it. So now we're back. I've sauteed and let these cool a little bit. Uh, didn't need all that much. We're gonna need an egg. So I'm gonna break the egg. Make sure not to get any shells in there. I don't want crunchy meatballs. Okay, break that up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna take the olive oil, garlic, onion mix and put that in there. Okay, we're gonna mix that in a little bit. Okay, make sure it gets all incorporated. Then we're gonna take some, some of this Italian panko mix. Uh, we're gonna put maybe a couple of tablespoons in there and some regular Italian breadcrumbs also. So let's work that in a little bit. Eventually you're gonna to have to Get in there with your hands and work it. So I, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get in there with my hands and just work it around. And you want you want uh, not too wet of a moisture. You want you want it. Uh, this is a little a little too soggy. So we're gonna add some more breadcrumbs. That's why you want to add it in stages. Add it a little bit at a time so uh, you can judge the consistency of the meatballs. You don't want the meatballs to be too uh, too dry uh, or too wet. Now, some people add milk to it. Uh, I don't think for, for an appetizer like this, I don't think you need to because uh, the breadcrumbs is soaking up a lot of that juice anyway. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Okay, so I've probably used a, a, maybe a half a cup total. Uh, of this uh, of the breadcrumb so far, so I just get in there, work it a little bit, and make sure everything is incorporated. Okay, now I'm going to add some some grated cheese to it. Get that in there, and this is a, an Asiago uh, Parmesan blend. Uh, it's, it's got a nice nice flavor. The Asiago gives it a nice flavor to it. That in there. Okay, you can see the consistency of it. A little bit more. A little bit more here. So, so it's kind of sticking together now, which is good. That's what you want. You don't want it too too wet because uh, these are going to cook pretty fast. They're, they're not going to take all that long to cook. So, it looks like they're pretty much about done here. So let's get that. I'm gonna take the, the rack, and I'm gonna use some of this uh, spray, oil sprayer, just to coat the rack here, so they don't stick. Okay. So now you can use a spoon to spoon up the sizes that you want. These are appetizer sizes, so I would say maybe about that size, maybe an inch and a half, two inches at the most. Uh, an inch to an inch and a half is usually what, what I go for. I mean, you can see the size of that. So, and you wanna just work it enough so it stays. So, that's it. Okay, you can, and you can use a spoon or uh, an ice cream scoop of some sort to, to help you, to help you make these. It doesn't take all that much. And you can wet your hands. If you wet your hands, the meat won't stick to your hands as much. It tends to behave itself better. Okay, you can see it's not sticking to my hands. I'm gonna continue making these, and when I'm done, I'll show you the setup before it goes into the oven. Okay, so now uh, they're all prepped. You can see uh, I got 
uh, about uh, 12 out of that half pound. So now I'm going to use the sprayer again, pump it up a little bit, get a little pressure in there. And we're just going to spray the tops there. This is going to help them brown and give it a nice crust. Okay. So now uh, I'm going to get these in the oven. Uh, probably going to be about uh, 350 or 370 for about 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, when they come out, I'll show you what they'll look like. Okay, for the next thing we're going to be making for our wings and things platter is going to be our mozzarella sticks. I've taken the large mozzarella sticks, I put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so until they're kind of hard. That'll help cook uh, cook the outside before the inside melts. And we're going to we're going to take it, we're going to cut it in half into bite-sized pieces. Again, these are just regular uh, simple appetizers. So uh, we're going to need uh, egg, some uh, rice flour is what I'm using. Also uh, some Italian breadcrumbs, which I've added some uh, grated cheese to, and some panko uh, Italian breadcrumbs, which is going to help give it a nice crust. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we, we beat that egg. We're going to take, take our piece. I'm going to keep one hand clean here. Go to the flour. Okay. Then from the flour, go back to the egg, like that, and then go into the Italian breadcrumbs. And you can use bigger containers if you want, you can use larger containers. Uh, it's all a matter of uh, how many you're doing and, and uh, how large the pieces are going to be. Okay, so now we're going to go back to the egg one more time, and right to the the panko breadcrumbs. So I'm just going to toss those around. Okay. You want to make sure you pack it pretty good because these are these are not being fried. These are being air fried. So you want to make sure you pack it nice. It gives it a nice crust. So that's what you have here. I'm going to do one more. Put that in the egg. So you're going to go with. Uh, you're going to do the egg flour, then back to the egg. Okay, you want to make sure you get the ends too. Back to the egg. And to the Italian breadcrumbs. Toss that around, make sure you, make sure you get enough on it. Okay, we're gonna go back to the egg one more time. Okay, and to the panko. Just toss it around. You want to make sure you, you get them well coated. The better you coat it here, the, the nicer they're gonna be, the more crunch they're gonna have. So, just going to get that a nice coat. Press it in just lightly, and there you have it. So, I'm gonna continue doing the rest. We're going to put in the air fryer oven for uh, about five minutes, uh, 350 to five minutes is pretty much all it's going to take. I'm going to take a, take a look at them afterwards. If it needs another minute, we just add another minute. But uh, usually about uh, five to ten minutes is max. Any more than that, you're just going to have a drippy mess. So I'm going to get these done, put them in the air fry oven, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so we get the uh, our mozzarella sticks in there. Bake for 350. And we're only going to put it in there for about five minutes. We have the mozzarella sticks. It's been about five minutes in there. They look good. They're starting to melt. You can see the cheese. So I'm going to get this into the platter and I'll see you on the on the other side. I've already prepared some here uh, and I just clean them up here just to make them look a little nicer uh, on the platter so that they're more like a drumette uh, and you'll see what they look like when they come out. I'm gonna show you how I did the last one. Uh, I'll do the last one here for you, and, and then we'll bread it up and uh, get it ready. Okay, so basically all I did was cut right towards the end here, to the end of the bone. Just wanna cut that 
the chicken skin and you know, whatever meat is attached there because we're going to be scraping it off. Again, this is more for presentation, so you don't have to worry about you know, doing this every time. I'm just doing this for a presentation look this time here. So again, okay, you want to make sure you get all of it off so it comes out nice and clean. And the remainder, you can leave that on, but I usually just trim that off, get as much of it off as you can. Okay, and it really doesn't matter. I mean, it's just more of a presentation. So this is what you have. You have a nice little drumette here. And I'm gonna take these here. I got some rice flour here that I'm gonna be just dredging these in with a little salt and pepper in it. Keep it real simple. Uh, we just want to get a nice crust on it and we're going to flavor it with the uh, with a Parmesan uh, garlic after the fact. We're going to sprinkle it on when they're hot uh, to give it the flavor at the end. So this is a real simple recipe. So we're just going to add a little bit of salt to the flour, a little bit of pepper, and some garlic. And I'm gonna add a little bit of this Asiago Parmesan cheese just, just to get the flour flavored. And mix it all up. Okay, we're gonna throw our wings, wings in there. Okay, I'm just, I'm just doing, I'm doing about six or eight of them. Yeah, not too many. Again, for a platter, depending on how many people you're doing. So then we're just going to take them out and shake them off. I'm just going to lay them across that tray. Okay. okay, you want to cap them up and give it a little space in between so uh, the hot air moves between them. Tap them down a little bit like that, just to get the, the meat to one side. Okay, so move that here. So you just want to move that down like that. Now you can you can run them like that. You you can uh, you can put them on the rack this way, but they'll tend to fall anyway. So you just want to get them prepped to the way I want them to look. And that's the last one. We're just gonna spray spray the tops here to help them uh, get a nice crust on them. And also, uh, it helps to cook the flour. Again, if you've seen my other videos, you'll see that I use this a lot. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put this in the oven. I'm gonna put these with the meatballs. Uh, they're probably gonna take around the same amount of time to cook. Uh, meatballs are going to go on top. The chicken is going to go on the bottom because of the uh, the chicken oils and the chicken uh, uh, liquids that come out. We don't want them on top of our meatballs. Okay, so you can see I've got the meatballs on the top rack, the wings are underneath it, so the juices don't fall onto that rack there. They kind of stay separated. Okay, these are done now. Uh, they were in there for about uh, 20 minutes. You can see. The meatballs. I, sw I switched them over after about uh, 10 minutes or so. Okay, see these meatballs. Okay, they look done. Nice, nice crust over the top of them. And let's take a look at these drumettes here. Okay, they, they look really nice here. So now we're going to season these as they're still warm. We're going to put these nice and hot in in the bowl. Okay, I'm going to sprinkle some cheese over the top. Okay. And I'm going to hit it with some of this garlic butter, which I melted down just a little bit here. And some Italian seasoning. So 
So just kind of toss them up. Just kind of coat them, coat them up enough so, uh, so they're nice and coated. The heat will help dry them out a little bit, but uh, help absorb some of that flavor. Okay, so we're gonna take these and we're gonna put that with the platter, with the meatballs, the garlic nuts, and the uh, mozzarella sticks. And I'll show you when the whole thing is done. Okay, there you, there you have it. Here's your platter. Uh, you have your Italian meatballs, your Parmesan chicken wings, your garlic knots, which came out fantastic, uh, and your mozzarella sticks. So let's, uh, let's break open one of these mozzarella sticks so you can see. It's actually very nice, look at that. That was five minutes. That was five minutes in the, uh, in the power air fry oven. So that, that's fantastic, look at that. Oh, oh yeah, this is, this is gonna be great. Mm. Oh, and it's got a good flavor. We're gonna add some marinara sauce to it. Mm. Nice crunch on the outside. You can taste the, the, the cheese. It's not falling apart. It's, uh, it's fantastic. So if you guys make this platter or a similar platter and you wanna comment that on the bottom, I'd appreciate any comments and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Check out some of my other videos. Maybe uh, you can get some ideas off that or you can you know, give me some ideas. So I'll see you in the next video.